Yes. Twenty-five years ago. Yes. What was the name of the kit? The uh, uh, Roby. Oh, it's a Roby kit. Roby okay. kit. Yeah. And uh, the name of the boat was Pegasus Three from uh, it's a Norwegian cruise ship. Owned by. Uh, they tell me they I got all the information. I home was owned by uh, a lady. It's all her good crew on board here. Rustler. Mm -hmm. Looks fine. I built this uh, twenty-five years ago. My flat bottom, search and rescue. It's a kit also, plastic hull, plastic flat bottom. And why was this a flat bottomed boat? This was a, it's a flat bottom boat but where in, uh, in, in Germany where this boat was used, the water was not very deep. Sometimes they have to bring stuff from the big boat into shore. Flat bottom boat would go out there and uh, help out. Right, so you've got a seven channel radio. What kind of functions are you running from the radio? My crane. Can wrench when it's all hooked up here. It's not hooked up for it today, but it can uh, pick up this uh, lifeboat in real life and bring and it lunch. over to the side and drop the lifeboat in water. Let the lifeboat go do its thing. Come back, and it's got the, the radar here. It's got lights. I have entered this boat in the Christmas uh, Christmas lighting. Here we have once mm -hmm. a year. And with all the different lights, and, and uh, it's a good stabilized boat. And uh, my sailboat is I uh, built that right from scratch. There's good steel cables on here. You need good sturdy steel cables to, if this does pick up a fair amount of wind. So uh, my big servo to operate the sails and to operate the winch here, the, uh, the rudder, rudder here. And uh, it's all on a two-channel radio. So we're with Wolf here, who is a new member of the club, but uh, I'm just about to join. Just about to join. Just about to join. I've okay. not joined yet. I'm, and I, I wasn't going to join until I had this thing up and running. And mm -hmm. today is the first day. You used to do stuff a little bit faster than this. My favorite class was uh, X class fuel hydro, and my best stuff would do over 100 miles an hour. And uh, uh, if you look at the records, I checked the records just uh, yesterday. And uh, for X-Class straightaway record, uh, today is around 125 miles an hour. So this boat is three feet long. It's a uh, foot beam and got uh, two 12-volt batteries in it. You might need to get it dirty. Yes. She's a little too pristine for uh, being a scale yes. model at this point, unless yeah. she just came out of the, I, the shipyard. I just finished this a few days ago. Were you actually racing your 110 no, mile no, per hour boats no, with this, no, no. this museum had, piece? This, that museum piece goes back to the 1970s, mm -hmm. mid 1970s. I started this thing about 40 years ago. And that's why, if you look at the name, Kronos. Kronos. Kronos was the Greek god of time. So this is one of the cleanest installations I've seen yet at this uh, club. You guys got to get this guy signed up as a member. Well, thank you very much. <laughs> thank you. <laughs> Well, Canada, another fantastic episode of RCTV. Next week, Jeremy, we're going to be heading out to BC again. We're headed out to Calgary. We're all over the country, folks. So make sure you check out next week's episode. Take care, guys. Bye, guys. I'm going to go crawling with my G-Maid. RCTV has been presented to you by RC Pit Stop. Bringing the best of RC to BC. John's Hobbies. Toronto's local hobby store. And PM Hobbycraft.